John Skelton will spend the next 10 to 15 years behind bars. It was a brutal day in court. The judge and prosecution eviscerated him. Not one minute of the day for the past nine months, two weeks and six days, had the boys been for my thoughts. Tanya Zuvers, the mother of Tanner, Alexander, and Andrew, tells the court to slap her ex-husband, John Skelton, with the maximum sentence possible. Skelton was the last one to see their sons alive. I worry about them. Are they safe, warm, being fed, and most importantly, being loved? My fear is that the answer to these questions are no. Because no one will ever be able to love those three precious boys like I do. Judge Noe hit John with a 10 to 15 year sentence, exceeding the sentencing guidelines for his no contest plea of unlawful imprisonment of his sons. From his jail cell, John called me with his reaction. We knew Noe was going to be pretty biased. We already knew, you know, when we were six months ago that he was going to not exceed the guidelines. Um, it's unfortunate that nobody believed me. John claims he gave the brothers to a secret organization to protect them from abuse at the hands of Tanya. Police have cleared her of any wrongdoing. John can't prove his story is true. I can't uh, decide what goes in a police report. Only they can because they have this preconceived notion that the boys are dead and, uh, and they want to make the best case for that as possible. Morency's police chief revealed today that John's cell phone sent out pings the morning they believe he dumped their lifeless bodies. The remains have not been found. At approximately 4.19 a.m., uh, data collected from the cell phone indicated that John Skelton was likely at his residence. At approximately 4.23 a.m., data that we have collected indicates that that phone was on the move. Uh, at approximately 5.02 a.m., the data is, indicates that he's in an area northeast of Holiday City, consistent with the areas that have been discussed in the court related to the schoolhouse and the dumpster. The prosecution leaving the door open to additional charges if evidence of murder is found. Reporting from Adrian, I'm Tom Wade, Channel 7 Action News.